What are you addicted to telling yourself that makes your job easier as a leader? Big question. See, we're all addicted to our thoughts. We all have a story in our head. That makes great leaders and poor leaders. There's the difference. Great leaders have things that go on in their head that are a little bit different. The one thing they're able to do is say, you know what, I'm lying to myself, and I'm saying things to myself that are not allowing me to feel uncomfortable, which we're going to talk about. That's just a question as a leader. My, trust me, there's one. You have one question inside of you that you're going, oh, man, you know what? I'm probably asking myself the wrong question. Love this from the Ranger indoctrination speech. Humans are comfort seekers, OK? That's our nature, is to seek comfort. It's the individual that does not seek comfort that is extraordinary. So my question is, is how comfortable are you? If you're a leader and you're comfortable every day, then you're not extraordinary, OK? Leaders are self-punishers. We like to punish ourselves, right? And we like to push ourselves. And we like to live in a realm of being uncomfortable. Now, I'm all happy with being comfortable, but you know what? Uh, being comfortable does not drive people. It does not inspire people. And it does not raise your profitability or production. The second biggest mistakes are bad beliefs. How many people in here, how many people in here think that everything they believe is true, say I. Robbie, go ahead. <laughs> Robbie's like, damn right, everything I believe is true, right? And it is, she's my bar raiser. I was Robbie's broker. I always called her my bar raiser, and I love Robbie. She's a dear friend. But I want you to understand we are believing things that are not true, okay? The good leaders and great leaders go, oh, I am believing some stuff that is false. Everything you believe is not true. You know, we're the, we're the only people, there we go. We are the only people, right, that hold on. When I talk to entrepreneurs, they're like, I got this business. I'm going to start a uh, coffee business. And we're going to, and I'm like, that's the worst business I've ever had, right, ever heard of. I have all these people that want to start new businesses. Here's the thing about bad beliefs. Do you believe a system or an interview or an agent? Is there something in your business that's an ugly baby that needs to be thrown out? Right? Don't fall in love with your ugly baby. The biggest problem of leadership is this. They, we cling to ideas that do not work. This is not a political statement. It's just a funny picture. Good? We OK? So the bottom line is, let's identify what those might be. The next thing about bad beliefs is to always ask this. If you're under stress, stress is simply caused by this, believing negative thoughts. Okay? When you believe negative thoughts, that's what causes stress. Right? There are consequences to what you believe. 